Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for third graders. Our concept is adding and subtracting one and two step word problems. This is part three. Remember third graders, if you're always trying to be normal, you will never know how amazing you can be. We have our third grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. The links will be in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Do you need a math or reading tutor? We offer virtual one-on-one -on -one and group tutoring for second to eighth grade students. Parents, you can click the link in the, the description box so that you can request a free 30-minute consultation. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and press the like button so that you will be alerted to new videos we upload and also spread the word about Hype Math. We greatly appreciate your support. Let's talk about some words that we can recognize when we're reading a word problem and it is asking us to add or subtract. Let's start with addition words first. It, they can be sum, total, plus, and all, all together, and perimeter, join, increase by, together, added to. But remember third graders, this is not the full list. These are just some of the words that are used and most commonly used when we're looking at word problems. For subtraction, we'll have difference, minus, less than, fewer, take away, decreases, how many more, exceed, and remain. Let's look at question number 28. And remember, you can, um, to follow along, you can purchase a workbook in our store. The link is in the description box. Mr. Thompson sold 247 meals on Tuesday at his restaurant. He sold 516 meals on Wednesday. What is the difference between the numbers of meals Mr. Thompson sold on these two days? Is it F763, G331, H379, or J269? Now, in order to answer this question, the first thing we're going to ask ourselves is, what are we looking for? We are looking for the difference between the numbers of meals that Mr. Thomas sold on Tuesday and on Wednesday. Now that we know what we're looking for, the next thing we're going to ask ourselves is, well, what information can help find the answer? And the information that can help find the answer is that Mr. Thompson sold 516 meals on Wednesday and 247 meals on Tuesday. How do we solve this problem? Well, what we need to do is subtract the two totals. Let's do that now. We have 516 minus 247. Starting at the ones place, we see that seven cannot go into six. So we need to borrow from the tens place. Now, we're gonna add that one and the six becomes 16. Now I can subtract. 16 minus seven is equal to nine. Let's move to the tens place. Now we had a zero there because we borrowed, but now we need to borrow from the hundreds place. And when we do that, our zero becomes 10. Now we can subtract 10 minus four, and that is equal to six. And lastly, we have our hundreds place. Four minus two is equal to two. So the difference between 516 meals and 247 meals is 269 meals. Now let's find what the correct answer is. Since we know the total, we can look at our answer choices to see which one has 269. And I bet you see it. Yes, the correct answer is J. Great job. Let's move to question number 29. 
Erica's goal is to practice playing her guitar for 300 minutes this week. How many more minutes does Erica need to practice in order to meet her goal? Okay, let's look. Okay, so on Sunday, she practiced 117 minutes. And then on Tuesday, she practiced 58 minutes. So the minutes that she have left, is it A, 125 minutes, B, 235 minutes, C, 475 minutes, or D, 175 minutes. In order to answer this question, the first thing we're going to do is ask ourselves, you guessed it, what are we looking for? Very important question. Well, we're looking for the, mi the minutes Erica needs to practice in order to meet her goal of 300 minutes. Now that we know what we're looking for, the next thing we need is the information that can help us find the answer. And that information is the total minutes, which is equal to 300. And on Sunday, she practiced 117 minutes. And on Tuesday, she practiced 58 minutes. Now that we have that information, we need to understand how we can solve this problem. So what we need to do is two steps. This is a two-step word problem. First, we need to add Sunday and Tuesday practice minutes together. And then for step two, we need to subtract the total minutes needed from the answer we get in step one. So let's dive in. First, we have step one, and we said we need to add the minutes. 117 plus 58. So let's start at the ones place. 7 plus 8 is equal to 15, so I'm going to put down my 5 and carry that 1 to the tens place. So 1 that I carry plus 1 is equal to 2, plus 5 is equal to 7, and in my hundreds place, all I have is a 1, so 175 minutes is the total that Erica practiced for Sunday and Tuesday, okay? Now that I have that total, what I need to do is subtract it from 300 minutes. That is how I'm going to find out how many minutes Erica needs to meet her 300 minute goal. Okay, so the total minutes, which is 300 minus 175 minutes, and that is for Sunday and Tuesday. So let's start at the ones place. Well, since we have 300, we're going to mark all the way through it. We're going to put a two in the hundreds place, a nine in the tens place, and then there's our 10 in the ones place. 10 minus five is equal to five. Now let's move to the tens place. Nine minus seven is equal to two. And for our hundreds place, two minus one is equal to one. So 125 minutes is what Erica has left in order to meet her goal. So what is our correct answer? Well, what we need to do is look at our answer choices to find out which answer choice has 125 minutes. And yes, I know you see it. It is A. A is the correct answer. Well, that is it, third graders, for Word Problems Part 3. Remember, if you need a tutor, we have a link in the description box for parents to sign up for a free 30-minute consultation. And we have our third grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math and Reading. I will talk to you later.